Hi, it's Gadget UK here again, back with the uh, Game Boy Advance here from Nintendo. So you'll have seen this in a previous video, it's uh, the one with a nice uh, IPS screen here from SLR Mod Shop. And just watch the message, it comes up with the overdrive. Internal battery has run dry, RTC resets to default. So, uh, yeah, I've not used this in a few days, and then suddenly I've got that. And what it's referring to is on the EverDrive X5 here, you can just about see a little battery in there. So we need to swap that, so it's going to be a super short video. So you need some uh, jewelers, uh, a set of jeweler screwdrivers like this, and you just need a little uh, Phillips, you know, cross-point screwdriver. And then if we just remove that screw carefully, don't do this on carpet, by the way. Try and do it on a hard table ground yourself before you uh, work on this or wear an ESD wrist strap you can ground yourself by just touching uh, I don't know a metal radiator or a metal uh, pipe work in your house or if you've got a metal light switch just touch where the screws go into the light switch there you'll generally find that uh, that will do the job let's just remove the micro SD and then hopefully this may clip apart there is just the one screw on it yeah, there you go. You can see I just prized it gently on one side. We just continue around here with my nail. Yeah, and you can see it's coming into two parts here. I was going to say, it looks like there's no battery in there, and it still looks like there's no battery in there, but trust me, there is a battery in there. It's really thin. So if we just carefully lift the PCB out. So the best way to get this out is, can you see down here? There's a little gap, and there's one on each corner there. If you use a pin or something, or a small screwdriver like this, in theory, you should be able to just help push it. Can you see that? It's coming out. Push it out like that. And then as it gets near the end here, you might be able to just grab it with your fingers and pull it the remainder. If not, just give it another gentle push from the, that side. There we go. So there is our battery. And the positive side wants to be upwards here. So that's a CR1220, so I'll need to order one of those. So just measuring the voltage on that battery, if I hold the uh, positive probe on there, put the negative underneath, you can see... 0 0.045 so that battery is flat. I've got a brand new one here that I had in my uh, spares drawer it's an energizer and if we measure that 3.215 volts so we just need to just carefully slide it in here like this easily does it and so it goes all the way in that's it it's firmly in there and then we just need to reassemble it so this goes like that because remember you can see the battery through the cover there which means the board goes back into here, like that. You just need to just carefully clip this back together here. And it seems the way this opens, you can actually slide it. Can you see that? So when I prized it, I didn't need to. So rewind a little bit. When you want to get inside this, you remove the screw, slide the front down like that, and then the top just comes off. So yeah, I didn't need to do what I did at the beginning. Slide it back again. You can see, dead easy. So let's get the screw back in. And if we get the micro SD in, I'm not sure which way this went now, is it that way? Yeah, there we go. Let's stick it in the Game Boy Advance and let's see what happens now. Install batteries run dry. I'm guessing if we go in and out, maybe it will reset itself. Yeah, there we go. So you'll still get the same error the first time round, but after a power on and power off, whatever settings it uses for that real-time clock chip uh, are obviously initialised, and then the next time you power off and on, it'll be fine. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, super short video. Hopefully you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.